Young Justice issue 8 sees the team land on Earth 3, home of the Crime Syndicate, where they are immediately attacked by a Maxon Thunder, the Earth 3 version of Cassie, who punches her counterpart through a building, saying it's not every day you get to beat yourself up. Ginny and Amethyst meanwhile watch the fight, knowing they need to get off the street and find some police or the Justice League, but they are attacked by Luther L, the Earth Superboy. Luther wants to know how the girls got to their Earth and if they have a multiverse map, and if they did, why did they come here and he will spare them if they show him how to travel the multiverse. Superboy arrives, rescuing the girls as Impulse races against Speed Zone, going all over the country, dodging his pursuer. Superboy meanwhile takes on both Luther and Amaxon, not impressed with them attacking the stranded heroes. Amaxon hits him, impressed that there really is a multiverse, but soon Luther and her begin arguing over the existence of the multiverse and if it actually does exist, as Connor returns, smashing both of them with his full force before he and the villains disappear in a bright red light. Tim meanwhile fights his his counterpart, learning he calls himself Drake. Tim agrees that this is a good name as his counterpart pulls a gun on him, reassuring Tim that they are just rubber bullets. Before any of the actual real bullets can hit him, Bart saves him, asking if he's seen the evil impulse, but Tim jokingly says that he thought that Bart was the evil version of himself. Tim tells them that they need to get off Earth and Bart knows that they need a multiverse map to do so in order to find their way home safely. Bart learns that evil Tim calls himself Drake and that he knows something about that and will have to tell Tim once they get out of being murdered. Bart is suddenly knocked away by a gang member and Tim takes out the member who pleads for him not to kill him. The boy begins snapping his fingers and soon Tim is surrounded by a gang. He fights them off but they soon overwhelm him but before any of them can kill him, he is saved by the Earth-3 Batwoman, who thinks he is that world's Drake. Tim explains to Stephanie that he is Drake, but not the one of her world. He tells her about their relationship and all he wants to do is get back to her on his world, since he misses her so much. Stephanie says that it does sound insane, but before she can tell Tim something, Impulse hits her in the back of the head, knocking her out. Bart continues his conversation from before, saying Tim should start calling himself Drake. Tim, however, is more concerned with the knocked out Stephanie, since he doesn't think she is evil like the others. Taking Stephanie, he wants to head back to her bat cave, since he has a hunch. Teen Lantern, meanwhile, fights the Lantern hack as Ginny hides out, making it back to her truck when the coast is clear. It's not clear, however, as her counterpart, Hex, arrives with Drake, wanting to know if her trunk is still full of goodies. Ginny says that that trunk is hers as Hex shoots her, saying Ginny didn't even know what she had in it. Young Justice issue 8 was an action-packed issue that saw the team fight their evil counterparts on Earth 3 in fun little fights. The book also started planting seeds for Tim to get a new code name. The new code name Drake is just fine. People are just complaining about it because it is Bendis making that code name. What wasn't fine about it was the execution. It was very ham-fisted with Bart just saying, hey, you should call yourself Drake now and Tim kind of going okay I'll do that like it was very ham-fisted in that way it was quite quite stupid we also get some teasers with what's in Ginny's chest and I doubt we'll actually get an explanation on that soon since Bendis loves stringing us along and has been since basically the start of this book about what's in it and whatever's in it isn't going to be some big reveal or anything it'll be some device or something that could have helped them get home or something like that something really inconsequential but he'll think it's some big reveal or something while the action was cool not much else in this book was and that's really disappointing I'm going to give this issue a 5 out of 10.